Warrior. Today is May 25th, and it is also National Missing Children's Day. Now, what does this mean? It's a very important day because I remember very well being a New Yorker back in 1979. A little boy named Eitan Pates disappeared, living downtown on Prince and Broadway, which is now widely known as the Soho area of New York City. At the time, it was beginning to become Soho, but it was kind of a grungy artist area. There were manufacturing uh, companies, big old lofty type buildings, and truly the bohemian type of people lived there. And Eitan Pates was a six-year-old boy, and according to his parents, he was begging to walk to the school bus stop two blocks away, and his parents never let him. On this particular day, May 25th, 1979, his parents said they allowed him to walk to the bus stop, and they stood out on their fire escape watching him. However, they could only see him for one block because he had to turn the corner to uh, go down to the next block to pick up the bus. Now you might say, how could this be? How could they not go with him? I have a lot of questions myself. I feel like this case of Aton Pates is not really ever, it really hasn't ever been answered. Uh, a lot of questions, but I remember it so well. I was a senior in high school. And at that time, it was all over the headlines here in New York. And it was just, you know, an unthinkable type of thing. A little, a little child just disappeared into thin air. And I don't remember everybody really questioning um, the parents allowing him to walk alone or anything like that. It was just a different mindset, a different kind of world. And also his parents knew the neighbors along the street, the little candy shop, deli type uh, place. Uh, fast forward. So just remember, it's a different kind of mindset. But it always, I do remember at the time thinking, oh, a six-year-old walking alone in New York. But then it went out of my head. And no judging. I just remember thinking, oh, that seems dangerous, especially in an area like Soho, where, again, it was um, these big, large, kind of lofty buildings and industrial and not the Soho we know today with all the fancy boutiques and apartment buildings. So that being said, out of that tragedy that, in my opinion, uh, was never really solved, in my opinion, although somebody was um, convicted or accused of this, tried... Uh, I'm going to leave that part of the story alone a couple of years back, not that long ago. I'm not really sure about any of that. I am here to say on May 25th, National Missing Children's Day, it is a day that has been given very little fanfare. It is a day that should perhaps be some sort of national holiday, at least at the Warriors, that's what I think. We can never forget all of the missing children. On any given day in the United States, there are 2,300 let me repeat that, 2300, 2300, I can almost not say it, 2300 missing children. Do the math. I'm not going to do it for you. If it was one child missing, that is one child too much. So why isn't there more national attention put on this? Certainly there's a lot of attention put on all the other issues, and we won't get too political here and go into those issues, but certainly our own American children just missing, disappearing. So we at the Warriors want you, want you whatever you can do. We post on Facebook and Twitter missing children every single day. Use your platforms for good. If you have them, please share the photos of missing children. We can never forget them. We can never never forget their faces. Can you imagine being the parent of one of these children, having no closure? They're just gone. I can't even begin, when I get that thought in my head, I push it, I push it way out because it is too horrible to even think about. So we need to really step it up and talk about this more. We need to understand if you hear of anything or know of anything, two easy steps, you call 911, you're not going to be held responsible if you're wrong. Perhaps you've seen a poster of a child. Please, please, so many thousands of children, their faces are listed. Missingkids.org. That is missingkids.org. Go there. Share some of the faces. We do on a daily basis at the Warriors. Also, the phone number 1-800-THE-LOST. 1-800-THE-LOST. We can never forget 
about the Eitan pizzas of the world. We can never forget about all these missing children. I want to see this a platform. I want to see this in the upcoming presidential election. This should be a platform. I will remind you again that 2,300, that is the estimate. Remember, what do I always tell you? Whatever the numbers given out are, they are always, rest assured, much higher, much higher. All these missing kids, where are all the children? I want to know. I'm sure you want to know. Keep an eye on your kids. Keep an eye out for all the missing children. Missingkids.org. Follow us always, lynnswarriors.org. Thank you for subscribing. Please hit the little bell, the like button, subscribe. We want to share information you may not be hearing about anywhere else. And we want you to know what's going on in our country. Again, May 25th is missing, National Missing Children's Day. I think everybody should be talking about this. I think everybody in the media, the public, we should be taking to the streets. We should have some kind of national holiday in recognizing it is time for all of us to get busy and find out where are all of these children. So pray for them. Think of their parents and family members. Remember our hashtag is community creates change. Remember each and every day, go out and be a warrior.